Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Derek from Certified Legacy, and today I will be showing you how to get apps on iOS 3 to 8. So let's get straight into this. So of course, you will need to be jailbroken, and to this part, I'll be showing you um, iOS 5 uh, to 8. And la last part, I will be showcasing on an, for app sync and stuff on <clears throat> an iPad 1 and an iPad 2. Okay, but besides the point, you will need to be jailbroken for this part. And um, so yeah, you're going to head into Cydia. There are plenty of methods to jailbreak on iOS 6. They're very easy. So just open up Cydia. Head to your sources tab in Cydia. So you're going to add this repo right here. Yzoo.mo slash dev slash. And if you are a beginner and do not know how to add a repo, uh, hit edit, hit add, and then drop the repo's uh, URL in here. And you just hit add source and it'll prompt you to return to Cydia. So anyway, you're going to go in here. You're going to click on Electamon's repo and you're going to hit all packages. And here is where you add Viteris, and you're just going to hit modify, and you'll hit install, confirm, and then it'll prompt you to restart your springboard or reboot. So go ahead and do that. Once you have done that, you will now have Viteris on the home screen. So you're just going to hit Viteris, and mine won't look exactly like yours because I have a theme on it. You can actually change themes in here if you hit settings. But anyway, the point is get to apps. So um, here is all the apps you can list. They have listed in here if you're searching for one. Like, uh, let's do like uh, Subway Surfers. Just search it up like a normal app store. It just pops up right here. And then you can click on this and it'll just select the version. So yeah. So where it will pop up afterwards, it'll pop up in the queue right here. And um, it'll show the apps where it's installing. And then um, wherever you had the app installed, it will show up, mine's in a folder. So you'll see right here. And you see, yeah, this is how you sideload for iOS 5 to 8. Moving on to my iOS 4.3.3 iPad 2. You'll also need to be jailbroken for, which is also pretty easy. Um, So you're gonna head into Cydia, of course. You're going to add this repo right here. Honage.dev slash add source. I have mine's on a fresh restore, so um, um, I actually have to reinstall it, just show you the process of it. So you're gonna hit return to Cydia, and now you have the Ponage archive repo right here. You're gonna go to all packages, and you're going to find app sync for 4.0 plus. So you're gonna hit modify, and install it'll prompt you to return to Cydia um so you'll want to respring somehow so you're just gonna hit instead of respringing like normally you're just gonna power it off and power it back on which is easy so power it back on okay so once you've done that you're now going to go to you're gonna head to this site right here iphone os obscura .ca. so here once you've opened up iphone os obscura locator aka iphone os obscura .ca, you're going to um, it's basically just exactly like Viteris. So let's uh, search up uh, Subway Surfers, for example, and click on it. Okay, it's like a bit of clicking, but we got it. So you're just going to click on whatever version you want here. Hit uh, proxy to install. Hit install, and it will now install like any other uh, app. Okay, and now you can see Subway Surfers is done installing, and you can do this pretty much for literally any of these apps. And we will be repeating the same process um, with um, iOS 3, but with a different app sync next. Okay, so moving on <laughs> to this absolute chonker, which runs iOS 3, and it is a iPad 1 that is natively on iOS 3. So let me show you the next steps. Okay, so for this part, you will also need to be jailbroken. This one's on 3.2.2, so see, it's not very hard to install. Just like before, you're gonna do edit and add, and you're going to add this repo right here, the iPhone OS party repo, aka cydia.invoxyplaygames.uk slash iOS 3 slash. And I'll link all these in the description, of course, and I'll also put them there. So you're gonna go and hit all packages like usual. And depending on your version of uh, iOS 3, um, I don't think there's versions for iOS 3.0x, sadly. So if you do, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is, actually. It's just, it's going to be way more complicated and you need to use, like, iFile to get it on here. So, to be completely honest, I would not recommend that. <laughs> so, if you are running 3.0x, I'd just recommend you just, like, upgrade to, like, iOS 3.1. If you're on, like, a 3GS, for example. So, anyway, you're going to go in here and you're going to get whatever one corresponds for your version. I'm on 3.2x, so I'm on 3.2, so I would go in here and I'd hit modify and install an app sync for OS 3.2. And what we're going to do is we're also going to go to iPhoneOSObscure.lin.ca 
And um, we're going to get like uh, whatever this is, Minecraft cookbook. I was looking for one of these apps earlier, so I was like, oh, I didn't even know this existed. So you're just going to hit proxy to install. And sometimes it may do this, so just try it, both of them. And some apps will just not want to install, so um, let's try a different one. So currently, um, it won't install on iOS 3. I'm not really completely sure what's wrong. Um, if this does not work for you for some reason, um, currently, um, I think it still works. I'm not sure why. Um, go. I'll link up to my iFunbox tutorial if you want to use that. But um, it would just normally like install like the Terrace and like this this iPad. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and or interesting, please like, subscribe, and share with someone that might also find this helpful or interesting. Make sure you turn on that notification bell with uh, so you're notified when I come out with brand new tutorials and other stuff that I'm interested in. And um, check out my social media accounts. I have Twitter. I have Reddit. I have a second YouTube channel as um, something. What else? I'm not even know what I'm going to do with that, to be completely honest. Um, I may start uploading content on there. I'm not sure what it would be. Um, I kind of wiped the whole entire slate clean for that one. So um, so I might just like start uploading whatever, maybe like behind the scenes stuff on there. I have no idea. But anyway, yeah, this has been Derek from Certified Legacy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.